Life is a long road made of choices that can change your fate right away, in a positive or not so positive way. Most of the time, how you live your life is only down to you and your choices. But what is there to do when you get trapped into some negative habits that can affect you and your life? How do you get out of these habits and how do you avoid them in the first place? Welcome to our new Feed Ambition mini-series. Here are 11 traps to avoid in life. Number one, comparing yourself to others. Constantly comparing yourself to others can lead to insecurity, stress, and dissatisfaction. To keep a healthier mindset, it's essential for you to focus on your journey and personal growth. Think of life as a unique path. Everyone's journey is like a trail through the forest with its own twists and turns. When you start comparing your journey to someone else's, it's like drifting off your path to walk on theirs. This can lead to feelings of confusion and frustration, not to forget that when you focus on others, you might overlook the progress that you're making in your own life. It's similar to being so busy looking at someone else's garden that you forget to water your own, missing out on the beauty it holds. By focusing on your journey and your personal growth, you'll stay true to yourself and become more aware because it's like tending to your own garden, nurturing your own talents and watching them bloom. Comparisons will steal your joy, but nurturing your own growth allows you to celebrate your own unique achievements and find fulfillment in your own journey. Number two, procrastinating. Delaying tasks is a common habit with a lot of downsides. Procrastination can lead to missed opportunities and elevated stress. It often occurs when we avoid completing tasks or achieving goals due to reasons like fear of failure or being overwhelmed. Procrastination also contributes to unnecessary stress. Knowing there's a task to be done but avoiding it creates a constant source of anxiety, impacting your mental and physical health. To fight procrastination, break your tasks into smaller manageable steps, set achievable goals and deadlines, and find motivation through rewards and positive outcomes. Reminding yourself of these negative effects will help you to overcome procrastination and lead to a more productive and stress-free life. Don't let procrastination hold you back. Tackle your tasks and seize opportunities. Number three, living an expensive life when you don't need one. Yes, we might be living in a material world, but being focused on owning lots of things and buying stuff can sometimes lead to many financial difficulties. This is called materialism, and it can lead to worries about your finances. But if you choose to live in a way that matches your income and don't spend too much, you can have more peace of mind. Imagine having a balloon that represents your income. If you try to put too much air on it, well, it's going to explode. It's like spending more money than you have. It can lead to a financial downfall and stress. On the other hand, if you blow just enough air on the balloon so it matches its size, everything works out fine. So if you spend money within your means, you can avoid financial problems and feel less stressed out. Living within your means just means spending money wisely, not buying things you can't afford and saving for the future. It helps you to be in control of your finances and have a more peaceful life without the stress of too much debt or financial worry. Number four, pride. Although pride can boost your self-esteem, it can also be your downfall. It can make you unaware of your own mistakes and slow down your personal growth. Therefore, it's important to balance pride with humility and a willingness to improve yourself. Being proud of your achievements and capabilities is a natural and healthy part of life. It can give you the confidence to overcome challenges and work for success. However, excessive pride or arrogance can become a barrier to self-improvement. When you're too proud, you may not be able to admit your flaws, which can prevent you from learning and growing. Humbling yourself means acknowledging that you don't have all the answers and you can always become better. It's about being open to constructive criticism and being willing to learn from your mistakes. In essence, a balanced approach that combines pride in your accomplishments with humility and a commitment to self-improvement can lead to a more successful and fulfilling life. So, celebrate your achievements, but don't forget to stay open to feedback and new learning opportunities. Number five thinking you still have plenty of time. Life can be full of surprises, but one thing we can count on is that time keeps moving forward. It's like a train that doesn't wait for anyone. Because of this, it's important to not delay your dreams or the things that matter the most. Instead, seize the moment and make the most of the time you have. Imagine that life is a journey on a fast moving train. The train won't stop and wait for you. If you miss your chance to get on, you might miss out on the incredible experiences and destinations. 
So, when you've got a dream or an important task, don't delay it. Grab the opportunity while it's there. Life is unpredictable, and this makes it even more crucial to act now. By taking action and pursuing your dreams, you can create a life filled with meaningful experiences and accomplishments. Just like the old saying says, best time to start something was yesterday, the next best time is today. Number six, believing that someone will always be there to help you. Depending too much on others for everything usually leads to disappointment. It's like leaning too hard on a wobbly chair. It might not support you as expected. It's important to strike a balance by being self-reliant and having a strong support system. Think of it this way. Imagine you are learning to ride a bicycle. It's great to have someone helping you, but if you rely on them too much and don't learn how to balance yourself well, you might fall when they're not around. So, while it's good to have support, being able to do things on your own is equally as important. Being self-reliant means having the skills and confidence to handle tasks and challenges by yourself. Having a strong support system means having people that you can turn to for help and guidance when you need it. Finding the right balance between these two can lead to a fulfilling and much less disappointing life. Number seven, lying. Telling a single lie can set in motion a series of untruths, much like knocking down the first domino in a chain. Picture trust as a delicate piece of glass. It's beautiful and valuable, but it's also very fragile. Once shattered, it's nearly impossible to piece it back together. When you're truthful, you're handling that glass with care, ensuring it remains intact. But when you tell a lie, you're dropping that glass and breaking it into countless pieces. Honesty is like protecting that trust and integrity in your relationships. It signifies reliability, as people can depend on your words. It's the bedrock that supports strong and lasting connections. Honesty is the antidote to lies, which can weaken the bonds that you share with others. Number eight, always being the victim. You're a victim. Mm. If you embrace a victim mindset, you might build roadblocks to personal growth and effective problem solving. It's important to take responsibility for your actions to unlock your potential. Nobody is safe from the challenges of life. Considering yourself a victim places you in a passive position, as if you're at the mercy of external forces. Instead, assume an active role by taking responsibility for your actions. This proactive stance empowers you to overcome challenges head-on and grow and learn from them. And responsibility also improves problem-solving skills. When you hold yourself accountable, you're more likely to seek out solutions rather than dwell on the problem. This shift in mindset can lead to personal growth and a greater sense of control over your life. Number nine, ignoring your body and mind. Neglecting to take care of your body and mind can cause some significant health problems. Just like how a car needs regular maintenance, your body and mind need proper care too. If you don't pay attention to what your mind and body are telling you, it can lead to some serious trouble. Think of it like this. Your body and mind send you signals like a car's dashboard warning lights. If you ignore those lights, it's a bit like driving a car with the engine warning light on. You might end up with a breakdown. So, it's important to listen to what your body and mind are telling you. If you're tired, take a break. If you're stressed, find a way to relax. Eat healthy foods, get some exercise, and move your body. By paying attention to your physical and mental well-being, you can prevent serious health issues and enjoy a happier and healthier life. Number 10. Buying now and paying later. Using credit wisely can be a useful tool in your toolbox. It helps you to buy things when you don't have the cash on hand. But just like using a tool, you need to be careful to not overdo it. If you use too much credit and owe a lot of money, it can become a heavy burden. Think of it like this. Imagine you've got a favorite treat, like an ice cream. Eating occasionally is enjoyable, but eating it too much can really make you sick. Credit is similar. Using it for necessary things is fine. But being impulsive and buying stuff you don't really need, well, it can lead to a lot of trouble. Excessive debt is like a heavy backpack that you have to carry around. It'll cause you stress and limit your ability to do the things you want. So avoid making impulsive purchases and taking unnecessary loans. Be smart with your credit, and it can be a helpful tool rather than a heavy burden. Number 11. Being addicted to social media and other dopamine hits. Spending too much time on social media platforms can often result in feelings of inadequacy and keep you from fully enjoying real-life experiences. 
Find a balance between the digital and real world as it's essential for your well-being. Social media is like a virtual garden. It's lovely to visit and enjoy, but if you spend all of your time there, well, you might miss out on the beauty of your actual real-life garden. Scrolling through posts and comparing your life to the highlights of someone else can create feelings of anxiety and affect your happiness. In this digital age, it's easy to become absorbed in the online world and forget about the richness of your day-to-day -day life. Maintaining a healthy balance between social media and real-life experiences allows you to fully appreciate the beauty of both. So, while social media can be a great way to connect with others, it's important to not let it overshadow your real-life adventures. Find that balance, and you'll discover a more fulfilling and enriching way to engage with the world around you. If you like this mini-series and don't want to miss our future videos, please make sure to like and subscribe. Till the next one.